Hello, my loves. Welcome, welcome back. Today is day three of embodying the goddess. My name is T. Ella Chardé. I am a prophetic oracle, ordained minister, certified master life coach, best-selling author, and CEO and founder of Embodying the Goddess. We are a mystery school and temple honoring and restoring the path of the goddess, honoring and restoring the path of the priestess. So if you have been tapping in for the past couple of days, we have really begun a journey into embodying the goddess and getting to know her and what it means to walk with goddess energy. What does it mean to hold the codes of the goddess within us? And it really brings me into our womb space, womb consciousness and what that all means. So on day three, we're going to talk about healing womb consciousness. So womb consciousness is something that came to me as I was really going through my notes of my journals from Costa Rica and, and what I learned through all the fasting I did, through all the meditations, the death and the rebirth that I did, definitely crying snots and tears because you need to release all the things from the past. You need to release and become an empty vessel so that you can fill it up with divinity and acknowledge who you are. And one of the things that I learned was womb consciousness, the true technology of our womb. I realized that our womb was conscious. And not only that, it was connected to a whole grid work of other wombs. Every single woman that ever lived, we're able to tap into her knowing, her wisdom and her intuition in order to bring knowledge and wisdom and understanding to the forefront. I myself and many of the women I work with, we found that we just had access to information without even trying. We had access to codes and enlightenment and herbal remedies especially. I would have dreams about herbs and having a mortar and pestle and using those herbs to create teas or place on my womb. It was just completely mind-blowing, mind-blowing. So when we step into healing womb consciousness on day three, we're going to tap into the consciousness and the vast stores of knowledge of our womb and the other wombs on the planet. And that way we can receive healing, swift up-leveling, instant support, as well as messages from the divine. So you'll begin to receive a lot of downloads. You'll begin to be a channeler if you not are not already and be an even more powerful one if you are not already. We will tap into healing the ancestral womb. Many of you know our ancestors, maybe your mother, your grandmother, have undergone many different things. They have been through a lot. And because we have the codes and because we're able to activate certain dormant DNA within ourselves, we have been given the torch Okay, we have been given the crown, the permission to carry the legacy forward, to be the matriarch, to be the goddess within our family, and therefore activate each and every one of our family members, man, woman, or children. We are able to heal seven generations back and seven generations forward by tapping into the ancestral womb, the maternal womb. With this process, there is a need to forgive as well as understand the mother archetype. The mother archetype is really the sacred mother, right? But it's also our mother, the one who gave birth to us. Whatever your relationship is with her, you're needing to come into some sort of understanding, some sort of reconciliation, and some sort of partnership with that archetype. You're needing to do this because she is your creator. She gave birth to you. She is the goddess in this physical reality. So I find that many women kind of feel stalled or stuck on their spiritual journey because there's the mother archetype that needs to be addressed. 
the relationship with the mother. Now, this could be some of the hardest spiritual work that you will ever do. <laughs> like, I, I will say that. Um, even in Embodying the Goddess within the program in our mystery school, the fall semester, we take a lot of time on that module, Healing Womb Consciousness, because the mother wound and the mother archetype is very, very deep. It's not only our mother, but it's our grandmother, our great-grandmother, our great-great-grandmother. So we go in very deep. So I do want to say take your time. Seeing your mother in a new light and healing your inner child and activating that generational healing as you are called to do, it can be some heavy lifting. And you do have your fellow goddesses and priestesses within our community to help you do that. And then we celebrate that womb. We, we draw, we dance, we light candles, we do rituals for the womb to heal the womb consciousness the ancestral womb and all of the wombs that ever existed you all this is powerful powerful work it is very very potent many of the women who have joined our mystery school they have literally erased hundreds of years of chaotic energy pain trauma and turmoil throughout their bloodline just by tapping into this particular work all right, so that completes day three of embodying the goddess. I want you to know that I love you. I support you. Whether you are on this journey with us or you are on this journey alone, I just want you to know that you are so beautiful. You are so powerful. And I believe in you. If you want to tap in, make sure you click on the links in the description box to go to my website, tiarasharday.com. Click on work with me and then you scroll down to embodying the goddess within. Our mystery school is going on right now. If you would like to tap in with us, if you need those resources and that support, we are here for you. I will see you on day four. Peace and love.